Hello. So I've got the frame uh, glued up now. Um, it's actually um, surprisingly uh, strong. Um, I was worried, like I said before, I was worried about gluing it up first because I was worried that it would want to uh, twist and possibly break, break the joints as I was working on it. But uh, it's strong. Um, I actually was able to flip it uh, upside down for the next part that I'm going to do. Um, and uh, it didn't, uh, didn't seem to be bothered by it. So. Is I've got these. These are just some cheap uh, LED strips from uh, that I got off uh, got off Amazon. Um, but the purpose is, or uh, the idea, is that all along the bottom, uh, the sides, the foot of the bed, and and that, not not on the head, just the sides and the foot, will be a channel. And I'm going to do it, I think, a half inch uh, deep, and then I will put this uh, aluminum bar. This aluminum bar is half inch, so it'll fit very snugly in there, but I think I may I've got some epoxy that I may use to help uh, hold it in there. And then these LEDs are uh, have a 3M adhesive back on them, so I will stick those on there. You could probably get away with sticking them on... Um, on the uh, uh, wood itself, but I wasn't confident in that. Plus, uh, these run on 12 volts. Um, I forget what the amperage is, but I've got uh, two of these rolls. I can't remember how many feet um, are on these rolls, but um, I've got two of them to do uh, the sides, the foot of the bed, and then another part that, uh, that I haven't shown you yet. But um, uh, they do get quite warm now granted that was uh running them in the bundle i unbundle them um not warm enough that i wouldn't that would catch the wood on fire but i think they'll adhere better to the um to the aluminum plus uh for your you know figuring designing for the worst case they'll act as a uh, as a heat sink so these will be in there to um to light up the uh the sides of the bed and that way it'll give a uh, give a night light. I'll be using a uh, uh, a setup that so it'll only come on when it, the room is dark, and then also so I can adjust the brightness. And I'll cover that uh, part of it in another uh, video. So I've got my router here with a half inch uh, straight bit and the parallel fence. Hopefully that'll keep things keep things straight. caution so this black I've got this uh, in several spots or in each corner actually of um, the thing I think it was a combination of the glue um, which is I think tight bond 2 uh, and then the fact that the black uh, pipe uh, was laying on top so anyway so I'll do some more sand to get rid of that but it was really sort of globby and needed to get that out of the way so I can draw some lines If you can see those lines or not but so basically this is the foot so I want to be I want to make the channel all the way uh, through these two so that basically the aluminum bar will go all the way through and the LEDs will go all the way through and then 
continue on. I don't want to cut and have the notch here. So I just marked out the lines where uh, where those uh, I should expect to, to have those just so I don't forget. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I'm going to cut this side uh, first and then I'll do the other side. Wish me luck. I'm going to try this with the uh, with the vacuum attachment though. I think feel like it's just gonna get in the way. Uh, so, I don't know, I'll try it, see how it works. Maybe keep things a little bit cleaner, keep the dust out of my way, we'll see. It's the first quarter inch. The vacuum doesn't seem to be doing anything. All right, so I got all the uh, aluminum in on the foot and the sides for the LEDs to uh, to mount to. Um, went fairly well. Uh, I didn't encounter any major problems. I did find uh, that uh, it was best to start at one end of the aluminum and tap and sort of iron along as it went in. That just helps sort of flatten it out because if I I could I would go along initially and get it in. But there would it would sort of be wavy, and so going for, starting at one end and sort of ironing it along, made sure it was flat. It's a nice tight fit, which is what I wanted. Uh, like as you saw, I put put a little bit of epoxy on uh, some of the, some spots just to help. Uh, uh, again, belt and suspenders. So if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up, and of course subscribe so you can catch the rest of uh, the series. Um, thanks for watching. dinner time so um i'm gonna go eat you're gonna have to have to just hang out here for a second i'll be right back